being a dad out there watching sun rays, it's, uh, it's the most tiresome part of the whole day is the emotion. You go through a gamut of highs and lows. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, but um, I handle it. I can, I can take it. For the average 16-year-old, the anxiety of just being a teenager and going to school every day is more than enough stress. Taylor Dias isn't your average 16-year-old. Taylor is a snow cross racer with the Thunderstruck racing team. He spends a good portion of his time spinning tread on the track when he's not on the road with his family. As a snow cross athlete, Taylor powers his snowmobile on a man-made track, consisting of some of the biggest jumps and tightest turns possible. What started out as a fun and unique way to compete in sports at the age of nine has turned into a true passion complete with fans, sponsors, and intense training. Decided to go to a local race and um, got second place in my first race. And from there, it just ex escalated from there and now I'm here. We're in Sandy, Utah at the Rio Tinto snowcross race. It's a lot of traveling, a lot of missing school, a lot of dedication. We had stiff competition out there today and we're pleasantly surprised that uh, we uh, got the first heat and we won it. Snowcross may seem like a one-man show, but even for the pros like Tucker Hibbert, it's a team effort. In the case of young racers like Taylor, that fact is amplified. The only difference is that in his case, it is much more of a family affair. I'm the truck driver. I'm the mechanic. You know, I'm the coach. I'm the cheerleader. Snowcross has definitely brought this family together. My mom and my stepdad and my sister, they take me to the races. My grandpa, my grandma come to my races. Um, all my sponsors, sponsors show up to my races, help me out. Yeah, if it wasn't for the sponsors, I wouldn't, wouldn't be here. They become one of your own uh, when you sponsor somebody and they become part of the uh, family for the uh, dealership and for the factories that you represent. He started lining up, getting ready to go, and I, I started letting everybody know, hey, this is my boy, this is my boy. And they said, we didn't know you had a, a son that was racing snowcross. I said, well, he's my son now. I sponsor him. It's Taylor. So it was uh, really exciting to have him come out and and uh, race so hard that uh, first qualifier and, and do as well as he did. For the most part, Taylor is your average teenager, but get him out on the track and his averageness disappears in a cloud of snow and cheers. The same can be said of his family. Average is a word that would only describe them on the surface. With fathers, stepfathers, cousins, even sponsors like Rich Gladfelder of Renegade Sports becoming lifelong lost brothers. During the race, it's all about Taylor. And while snowcross racing may look like a solitary sport, behind the scenes, it's anything but. I don't really think he understands how proud we are of him. It's just not me, it's everybody, the whole family. We wouldn't be here without the whole family working together. Sure, Taylor gets the, the attention. Taylor's the racer. Taylor's what everybody sees. But they don't see the daughter, mom, you know, in behind the scenes. and. I think we have a very unique, uh, unique uh, team. Work hard and train in the off season, and just do your best. Like you don't, you don't have to have the best equipment or the best sponsors or anything, and you can still, still do good. Make your way to the top. From the trailhead, I'm Steve O'Neill.